The models of the SH Crane generation are equipped with the Paltronic 150 control system and are operated by a radio remote control system with graphic display. The system is designed modularly and controls the crane in all situations. When engaging the power takeoff, Paltronic 150 gets supplied with power and starts up. The graphic displays on the crane only start up if all emergency stop buttons are released. Paltronic 150 is ready for operation as soon as the correct operating mode is selected with the key switch mode and is shown on the display. Selecting stabilizer mode enables hydraulic power to the control valves for the supports. Emergency operating mode allows to operate the crane via the control valve on the column. This mode only allows reduced functionality as certain comfort functions requiring the radio system are not available. The standard operating mode is the so-called radio or automatic mode. In this operating mode, the crane gets controlled by the radio remote control system. All functions are available. The radio system gets started after releasing the emergency stop and pressing start button. The graphic display is a very important information tool for the operator. It permanently informs about the current crane situation and is necessary to give control commands to the crane. The status line of the display shows all activated systems as well as the selected operating speed mode. The speed can be reduced and increased in four steps using the micro switch on the controller. If a status or error code occurs, it shows up in the status line. The crane and its activated equipment is shown in the center of the graphic display. If not all crane movements are available, for example because of an overload situation, arrows show the remaining possible functions to the operator. The current crane and, if applicable, also the current fly jib capacity is shown permanently as a percent value. On the left bottom corner, the signal strength of the radio system can be found. The charging status of the battery is shown on the right bottom corner. The lower line in the display shows the currently active designation of the soft key functions. Those are the functions of the F1 to F4 buttons. The soft key functions are used to select submenus or switch designated crane functions. The designation changes depending on the selected operating mode or submenu. The menus can be changed using the arrow buttons. If a function is shown as a white text in a black area, it's active or switched on already. Pressing the escape button leads back to the next higher menu. The enter button is used to confirm questions or selections at certain functionalities. In this way, various submenus are available depending on the crane equipment and application. This includes, for example, information about service intervals. The code statistic of Paltronic a window for the support condition,
as well as menus to select other operating modes. A detailed description of all available menus can be found in the operator manual of the crane. In automatic mode, the maximum working speed of the crane is automatically adjusted to the current load situation of the crane. This is possible with the help of the SHPLS system, the automatic high power lifting system of Palfinger. When reaching a limit, the operating speed automatically drops slowly until the overload system stops the movements. After that, and depending on the overload reason, all load moment increasing and stability worsening functions are not available anymore. The causing reason gets shown on the display. All available functions are indicated with arrows. With the exception of the fly jib lowering function, all vertical movements as well as the slewing function on cranes with a rack and pinion are protected with automatic soft stops. The respective function gets decelerated and stopped smoothly before reaching the mechanical end position. Using encoders allows the permanent monitoring of the crane geometry. This helps to control overload situations in steep boom positions as well as to avoid the reaching of forbidden working areas. Therefore, as an example, the crane cannot overcome the vertical position as it gets stopped smoothly when reaching the programmed maximum working angle. The information limit shows up on the display and indicates the situation. Arrows show the remaining possible movements. The system further limits the maximum lowering force of the crane to protect the boom system as it's especially important for grab application. Additional functions such as switching the return oil utilization system, engine start stop, warning horn or RPM control are available on all cranes as usual via buttons or switches on the controller. This is also applicable for all systems that are added by the installer. The AOS system can be deactivated and activated again with the soft key function AOS. The active oscillation suppression system is generally activated and switched off and on again using the AOS soft key function. Optionally available working headlights are usually operated with the lamp soft key function. A detailed description of all available soft key functions can be found in the operator manual as well as in other chapters of this video. An exceptional position is reserved for the F4 soft key function as it always shifts the OLP function of the crane. Firstly, OLP allows to move all locked functions in an overload situation for 1.5 seconds except the extension of the extension booms. Further, OLP can be used to deactivate the 90% warning horn. In all cases, OLP also resets the electronic data bus and therefore takes away error messages except the case that they are still valid. Like all other Palfinger electronic systems, also Paltronic 150 and the radio remote control system are equipped with a digital status display.
In case of technical support is needed, it's always helpful to inform the service workshop about the shown code in advance.